David here with Fig Boot on Pens. Uh, today I have for you a pen from a brand that was new to me, uh, and that brand is Magna Carta. And the pen I'll be showing you today is called the Falmouth. Uh, what I'm going to do today is discuss a little bit about the Magna Carta brand, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about the Falmouth, show some measurements, some size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Uh, thanks go out to the retailer Points of Distinction for providing this pen on loan for review. Uh, Points of Distinction has recently updated their site and has added a wide variety of offerings. I'll put a link in the notes below to their site and stay tuned because later I'll let you know about a nice discount code you can use on their site. Um, as a side note, I mentioned this in my previous review, but I will be attending the upcoming Atlanta Pen Show. If you plan to attend as well and happen to see me walking around, make sure to say hi. Uh, going to shows is all about reconnecting with old friends and making new ones, so I'm looking forward to the show. Um, I might even have a custom pen waiting for me. We'll see. Something I'm uh, very much looking forward to sharing with you. Uh, Magna Carta is a brand based out of India. The owner is a gentleman by the name of Hiran Katakara. Uh, in the past, the company has mostly done OEM work. Uh, if you're not familiar with the term OEM, it stands for Original Equipment Manufacturer, which traditionally is defined as a company whose products are used by another company. Um, back in 2013, Magna Carta began creating fountain pens for their own brand. Okay, let's take a look at a pen. It arrives in this unique box. Uh, it looks very much like a book. Uh, the, it has the Magna Carta logo embossed on the front and the lid swings open. There's a little uh, pocket here for the use and care guide and then we have the pen. This is the Magna Carta Falmouth. Uh, the Falmouth is made of brass and finished in a black PVD coating. Uh, PVD actually stands for Physical da Vapor Deposition. Uh, this is a, a vacuum coating process where the material begins as a solid and then is converted to vapor and then applied to an item, such as a pen, in a thin outer layer. Uh, the distinguishing feature of the Falmouth is the detailed geometric pattern engraved into both the barrel and the cap. Um, this engraving is actually done with what they call a five-axis CNC machine, which can rotate a pen every which way while engraving. Uh, let's start by taking a look at the cap. Uh, the edges are round, and on the top of the finial there is the Magna Carta logo. Uh, the finial transitions into a silver-colored band and the clip. Uh, the clip is slightly bowed. Um, I find this clip to be a bit on the tight side. Um, if I'm putting it in a pocket or a pen case, then I find myself having to kind of pinch the, the clip slightly in order to raise it enough to affix it to where it needs to be. The cap is straight, and then there is another silver band, and then there is the cap band, where on one side is it, it is engraved with Magna Carta, and on the other side there is the Magna Carta logo. Um, there is a small step down to the barrel, uh, which like the cap is straight. Uh, and then at the end of the barrel, we have some posting threads. And at the very end of the barrel, it has a plastic piece, which is slightly rounded. The cap screws off. And what we have underneath is a medium number six Bach nib. Uh, and then here's a look at the plastic feed. Um, I'll explain more in the writing sample, but this specific nib I received uh, could use some tuning. Uh, the tines are a bit close together, so it kind of restricts the ink supply unless you apply a bit more pressure than you're used to. Um, since this pen is on loan, I'm not going to mess with the nib, but uh, a little tweaking with the shim would most likely fix that issue with little effort. Um, the section angles up slightly and has the same geometric pattern as the cap in the barrel. Um, at first I might, thought this might feel odd to use a section with an uneven material, but the pattern really does a good job of helping you maintain your grip. Um, once you have your grip in place, the grooves really help it lock into place. The section transitions to the cap threads and there is a slight step up to the barrel. Uh, the Falmouth is a cartridge converter pen. A converter is provided, uh, and then it also accepts standard, standard international uh, cartridges. Uh, since it is made of metal, I would not recommend eye-dropping this pen. 
Okay, this pen does twist to post. And I will say that I'm really not a fan of twist to post designs. Now, if it's something like the Caveco Lilliput, then there's kind of a point to the twist to post. It makes the pen long enough to comfortably use. But in the case of this pen, um, it really doesn't serve much purpose. Now, I think that the pen looks fine when the cap is posted, uh, but when it's not, then seeing these kind of exposed metal threads at the end of the barrel isn't necessarily an attractive look, in my opinion. Um, being metal, uh, when posted, this cap is basically significantly backweights the pen. So you're really not going to want to post this pen anyways. Um, in addition, I found that the cap uh, experiences a bit of cross-threading when posting, uh, as well as when capping this particular pen. Uh, the Magna Carta Falmouth retails for $145. Um, I have mixed feelings about this pen. There are elements of this pen which I care for. Uh, it's unique. I like the engraved pattern and even having the pattern extend to the section. Uh, but then there are things that I would like to improve, like the thread to post and the cross threading and this particular nib which requires some tuning. Um, I'm intrigued by this brand and I'm interested to see what other things they come out with in the future. Thanks again. Go out to Points of Distinction for providing this pen on loan for review. Um, if you would care to check out this pen on the Points of Distinction site, you can do so via the link below in the notes. Um, while you do visit the site, if you find something that catches your eye, uh, make sure to use the discount code FIGBOOT0419 in order to receive a 10% off uh, discount on any uh, purchase on the site from now until the uh, end of April 2019. So it's a solid month, which is nice. So now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Magna Carta Falmouth. Uh, here it is with a Lamy Safari. Then here it is with a Twisby Vax 700. And here it is with a Diplomat Arrow. And in regard to some other pens, here it is with an Aurora Optima, a Pelican M805, uh, and a Mont Blanc 146. So here we go with the writing sample for the Magna Carta. Falmouth. This is a medium steel nib. And the ink that I'm using today is SBRE Brown. Uh, this is what the color looks like. Uh, that I'm sure most of you are familiar with SBRE Brown. The Good Doctor came out with his own line of ink uh, that has been available in limited quantities on a couple of different occasions. That's what it looks like. Um, it's a nice, healthy, lighter brown. Uh, this is what it looks like in regard to the Diamine Ancient Copper or even something like Conway Stewart's King Sand. Uh, it's a nice brown. Uh, this is what the original bottle looked like, a smaller bottle with a thumbprint here or a fingerprint. Uh, and then the later version was put into these much larger uh, Ackerman bottles, which are what they use for their Dutch Masters series. So there is plenty of this ink to uh, uh, within this bottle. Uh, and who knows down the line, I don't believe it's available now, I believe it is sold out, but who knows it might be available again in the near future. And if uh, it is available, then I'd recommend picking some up. It's a nice ink. Okay, so here we go with the rest of the writing sample. Um, as I mentioned in the review, the, this nib could actually use a little bit of tuning. Uh, that if I barely put any pressure on it, it doesn't like to write as much. It seems like I have to put a little more pressure than I would think I would need to in order to get it to consistently write. So the nib just needs a little bit of tuning. 
Uh, in regard to Inkflow, uh, once it does come out that it's a decent amount, in regard to reverse writing, it's a little bit sharp, but it does get the job done. And in regard to some fast writing, If I apply that pressure, then the feed keeps up fine. So there we have the Magna Carta Falmouth. Um, like I said, it's an intriguing uh, it's an intriguing pen from a company that I'm interested to see what comes out what they come out with in the uh, in the future. Uh, and again, thanks go out to Points of Distinction for providing this pen on loan for review. Uh, use that discount code that's below in the notes uh, for the entire month of April, and uh, you can pick up 10% off of anything off of their site. So until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.